All right, what's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to import local packages in Flutter. Um, so I've shown in the past couple of videos how to import um, like posted packages like Flame. Um, it's very simple, you just in your terminal write Flutter pub um, add Flame. I'm not gonna be doing it now, but that's how you do it. Super simple, but it's a little less intuitive how to do it locally. Um, and so in this example, it's gonna be just a very simple package that we're gonna be importing into um, this package importer application that I made. So imagine you have a friend that's made this sample package for you um, and you wanna have the code in your project because they made it for you. Um, you could leave it up uh, at this level, at the same level as the package importer application, but it's probably better to drag and drop it into the package importer application because if you move your, your app, you want the dependencies to move with it. So it's just a good idea to bundle it all up. So I'm gonna drag and drop that in there. And here we have the sample package in there. So um, we have the code here, but you'll see in here we have um, a library. So this is where all the code is for this, project, uh, for this package. And we have some animals and we have um, vehicles, which just has a car. And you'll see if I try to use one of the classes, none of them are actually working. And that's because our um, our project doesn't know that we're, we want to import this package. So to do that, it's very simple. We just go in our pub spec. So that's this file right here, pubspec.yaml. And we're going to find the dependencies section. So if you can't see it, you just control F, dependencies. Uh, and it should be one of the very first ones. Here we go. You're looking for... Um, flutter test. Nope, not that. Sorry. You're looking for flutter SDK flutter. It's right above flutter test SDK flutter. Um, and it's actually super simple to import. You're just going to hit new line and you're going to go back. You're going to hit delete. Well, not delete, but you know, backspace. Um, and you're going to want to be on the same line as flutter here. And you're just going to, um, write the name of the package. So that's going to be a sample package for us. This will be the name of whatever package you're importing. And then a little colon, new line, and then you're gonna tab to be in the same uh, tabbing as SDK here. And you're gonna write path. And we're just gonna add the relative path to um, the package. So for us, it's very simple. They're on the same level if you've dragged and dropped it like me. Uh, so you can just have write dot slash sample package. Save, and then you'll see it's loading. And just like that, you've imported a package. Um, so it should have all the IntelliSense and everything. So if I want to import, let's say a lobster, uh, I'm going to print lobster and then you press enter and it should import here at the top. Uh, I'm going to give him a name, of course, Joff to string. Um, and yeah, that's as simple as that. So now you have access to all the files in here. Um, I'll copy it with the other classes. So you'll see crab is also importable. Call him Sam. And we can also get our car here. Call it a Volkswagen Jetta. Oh man. Jetta. Um, and yeah, so if I run this app now, you'll see in the debug console, it should print out the job Sam and the car two strings. And then after this, I'll just show you quickly what happens if um, the sample package gets updated because it's not super fun. So here you can see, this is Joff the Lobster, this is Sam the Crab, Volkswagen Jetta. Easy as that. So you've imported your package and that's all good. And if you're not planning on having the package changed at all, this is where you can end the video. But if you think the package will get changed at some point, just watch the, a couple more minutes. So let's say someone, um, here goes in and they add a file. So we add a dog now. Um, or let's say someone changes the, um, the GitHub repo for the package and there's new, there's new code that you wanna add to your game. You pull, but you'll see here that even if we have our dog all written out good, if we go back here and we try to print them, dog, nothing happens. And you can look and there won't be a dog anywhere. Um, and that's because even though the code changed, we haven't imported the changes yet. So the same way that 
we need to get um, flame sometimes when it's not working. If you've watched any of the other videos, we can get um, all the packages that we currently have dependencies for. So to do that, you're gonna go in your terminal, not the debug console, the terminal, and you're gonna write flutter pub get, press enter, and then it'll just update all the dependencies that you have. In this case, the only change that we have is um, to the animals here. And now you can see if we're a dog and enter, it'll import the dog and we can call him or her joy to string. Um, yeah, so then if I flutter run, click windows, we should see that the dog is going to be working. Yeah, this is joy the dog, there you go. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I have some other videos if you'd like to check them out. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to make a video on, please leave it in the comments. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks. See you next time.